Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about setting up and configuring our outputs using our AEM Pro software. So when we want to control devices such as maybe a radiator fan or a fuel pump, or even if we want to set a shift light up or even control or check engine light with our AEM, we're going to be able to do that in a very specific location in our software. We're going to be finding we have high side outputs, which is going to be sending a 12 volt out to the device we're trying to control, or a low side output, it's going to be sending a ground output, typically to ground a relay, then to turn on something like a fan or a fuel pump that draws pretty large current draw. Now we're also going to find that we can turn on or off our fuel injectors or coils. They're going to have that functionality, so if we want to crank our engine over and we don't want our fuel injector spraying fuel into our engine, we're able to simply shut them off and then we're able to go in and uh, crank our engine over. We don't have to worry about flooding the engine. Or if we're trying to test maybe an individual spark on one cylinder, we're able to shut off all the other coils and we can go ahead and test that spark output on a particular cylinder. So we have a ton of flexibility, a ton of different options with setting up our outputs. I'm gonna be walking you through all the different scenarios and different details you need to know. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at how to set up our outputs using our AEM Pro software. It's a pretty simple process to configure an output to uh, turn on something like a secondary radiator fan or even turn on our check engine light if this is a plug and play application that we're using it on um, and it's gonna be wired into our check engine light function. I'm gonna be showing you how to do all of that. So if we jump up here to options and we move down our list here, we can find injector, coil, and then configure outputs. Now, this is gonna be where you program any output from your series one box. So if we jump into injector here, we can find that we have our select injector number. And if we toggle through here using the up or down arrows, we see injector two, injector three, injector four. And then if we go here to injector five, it's not going to be active because we only have a four cylinder application. This is a 1050 box here for an Integra Civic. So it's a BD or H series engine. So our uh, injector outputs here, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10, are all going to not be used. If we go back here to our status of injector one, we can find it's in the active state. It's assigned here to knock input one or knock sensor one, we only have one knock sensor. Our oxygen feedback here is also selected. That's gonna be telling the uh, EMS when we're using the oxygen sensor feedback tables that we wanna apply it to our injector one here. So we also can see that it's set as a primary injector. Now looking through the rest of the list here, we can find the same can be through one through four. That's the injectors that we're using. And then again, any of the other injectors are turned off because we're not controlling any other injectors. Now, if we want to turn off an injector, it's as easy as going here to active and just clicking it off. And we can go toggle all of them.